Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at 2025 theme now, shipping with WordPress 6.7. Are you liking it so far? Skip ahead, jump a comment in below, drop a comment below and let me know what you're doing with it. Uh, introducing 2025. This is the byline from the announcement, official announcement post from wordpress.org. Uh, endless possibilities without complexities and then a little paragraph that explains it a little bit more. This is probably the first time I've seen a theme get understated like this and, and not really uh, it is at the top of the list, but I, I've always seen a little bit more fanfare for a, a default theme. Though, you know, I don't know if we need default themes every single year. I think one theme that does it all uh, as a core WordPress theme is is going to be where we're headed in the future, uh, at least in my opinion. It's a pretty big departure from how 2024 works uh, versus how 2025 works. Uh, 2024, you have a business template already set up in the uh, templates uh, folder, if you will. And when you install uh, a fresh WordPress with 2024, you're presented with a homepage that looks like a business page. With 2025, which is what we're looking at right here, you just have the typical hello world uh, single posts on the uh, index page. And uh, it doesn't feel as complete. Uh, I know 2024 was the odd man out on that one. It's, it wasn't something that was a standard, but it was a shift into getting end users to go, oh, I've installed a new WordPress site. There's my homepage. Even if it's placeholder text, I know I'm going to go in and, and modify this stuff and tailor that business site to my liking. 2025, which we'll see with some of like the design choices, is much more for like what I would say blog and media photography, maybe art. It's not really lending itself, in my opinion, to a typical business site. So I don't know if that was the, the reason why that, hey, this is going to be a great blogging theme, not so much a business theme. It does have a business template. We'll look at it in a minute, but you're just not going to get it. You're not going to see it when you install WordPress uh, fresh like we have right here. So how do we get that homepage set up uh, so that we can have the business template that they've designed for us? Let's go to our dashboard. This was the, always the way that we would do it in the past. 2024 was a standout, but I, I kind of like the direction it was going in. We're going to add new page. And when we add this page, we'll get the prompt that pops up uh, or the modal that pops up. It says, hey, pick, a, pick uh, some patterns here. And we have a bunch. We have a portfolio homepage, a landing page for a podcast, um, landing page for a book. And then we have this business homepage. So you have some kind of uh, stylistic options here, uh, but none of them are really like, what I would say like a pure business, uh, in my opinion, in my design opinion. <laughs> uh, but we'll click the one that is business homepage for now. And that'll apply the patterns uh, across uh, this page. You can see all the patterns uh, grouped here uh, that make up this sort of business page. You have some pricing, you have a call to action sign up, <clears throat> and then you've got like your features and services. It's nice, uh, but it's just not my cup of tea in terms of design, nothing wrong with it. I'll add my title to the top, and this is where things start to break down and I'm going to show you how to set this up and complete this page, but let's hit publish. Uh, one of the nice things here with WordPress 6.7, I don't, I don't know if it was in 6.6, .6, but when you insert uh, patterns or a template like this that has a bunch of images, and I think these images are coming from the open verse, uh, it'll say, hey, before we publish this page, do you want to upload these images direct instead of just like hot linking to them where they are now? You can click upload, that'll upload these images locally to your media gallery. So they're all there. Then we'll hit publish one more time. We'll view the page. And just like that, here's our business homepage. Uh, but you'll see there's one issue right up top. It's this homepage. Uh, we don't want the page title there. So what do we do? Uh, well, we go back to edit this page. And the first thing we'll do is we'll open up um, the page settings on the right hand side. And under the template options, we'll click that. And this will pull up the options to edit the template, swap the template, create a new template. But before we do that, I wanna just show the template. This is a little sort of a under the radar feature. Or if you're ever confused, like why does my, why, why when I'm viewing a page look different than when I'm like looking at it in the editor? Well, maybe your template has some stuff at the top or the bottom that make it look a little bit different. So show template. And when we show the template, you'll see that it's showing us a placeholder for a featured image, uh, our post title, which is homepage. And if we expand this, you can see right here, uh, sort of purple indication of this block being the header uh, up top as well. So this is our site title, uh, homepage, sample page, featured image, title. These are parts of the template. And then below our content, we have a footer. 
uh, which is the footer of WordPress. It's a little bit more technical here, but this is to show you that this is the standard page template that's loading. It's gonna load our navigation, it's gonna load a featured image, a page title, because maybe you're making an about page and you have that featured image and it says about as the page title, but we don't want that on the home page. Let's go back to page, templates, swap the template, and 2025 ships with this template here, which is page no title, which is specifically for the home page. So it looks, this is our, our preview, this is what we have on our page, but you'll notice there's no uh, page title up top, so we'll select it, and you'll see right, at, right away, no more featured image, no more page title. When we save and preview, our home page looks a whole heck of a lot better now. There's no uh, page title, there's no featured image up top. So that's exactly what we're looking for. However, one last step here to configure your uh, homepage on 2025. When we click uh, our site title, we go back to our homepage. It's just our blog, it's just our um, archive page if we were running this just as a pure blog. How do we get that homepage to the front? Well, go back to the dashboard, settings, reading. <clears throat> this is the way we've always done it in the past. Uh, we'll select on select the static page, drop down for home page. We'll leave post page blank for now and then save changes. Go back to our WordPress website and there it is. The home page that we created with the pattern template, with the new template that doesn't show a, a, a page title has now been promoted to the home page of our site. So whenever we're visiting the home page of our site, we'll see this. Uh, pattern here or this this template here so you can go in you can modify this stuff one of the cool things about WordPress 6.7 is this little zoom out feature so if we click on zoom out this will give us more real estate uh, for lack of a better phrase to work with or literally zooming out so we can see the structure of our uh, of the page that we're working on gives us a little bit more room to, to work with and we can just click into uh, a particular group right here like if I don't want a pricing page uh, or a pricing block here, I can just delete that and modify uh, as I see fit. I can click add and add more patterns in. <coughs> so if there was something that I wanted, like this events list, I could just click it, put it in. Uh, and if I said, yeah, I actually wanna put this up a little bit, I can move it up uh, above you know, that call to action. So it's a nice little touch to uh, building landing pages with with Gutenberg, with the, the native block editor, and it makes life a little bit easier, right? So that's not specific to 2025, it's just specific to, to WordPress 6.7. And just to give another look at uh, patterns, 2025 does have 70 overall patterns here. And again, this is just my opinion. The design is much more maybe art, media, photography, publisher focused versus pure business. Um, like you could build a nonprofit site, you could build a typical business site. I just don't think that the design here is leaning in that direction. Uh, and you can just kind of look and, and peruse through some of these patterns. In fact, this one right here, the services subscriber only section, um, this is the only one that like kind of stands out to me. Like uh, this could be for like a business call to action, more information block. Um, and it's very, what I would say like, technical typical uh, versus like a lot of more of these art centric uh, or uh, just a br broader color palette type patterns. I, I don't know how to put it into words. I just don't think it's a traditional business uh, theme. Nothing wrong with it. If, if it's what you're after, um, sort of like this bold in your face kind of media thing, this works really well uh, if that's the direction you're going in. I think 2025 is a great theme for the blogger, for the photographer, um, for the artist, uh, maybe if you're selling a digital good, still pretty good for that. But I think it's really about pure publishing. And yeah, you can customize these landing pages. Uh, and that's really cool. Uh, but I don't think it's meant for the typical business. And nothing wrong with that. It's just two different, two different paths, right? If we go into styles, um, there's a, a handful of styles that 2025 ships with. And when you're clicking on styles, it's changing everything. It's changing colors. It's changing fonts. Um, link colors, buttons, uh, button design, stuff like that. Uh, none of these are really stand out to me. They just kind of exercise like 
being able to change uh, different things with with the styles. Um, I think you know default and evening are maybe the two that people uh, are going to end up using. Possibly this twilight one might look a little bit nicer uh, than evening. I'm not sure. It's totally up to you. But the good news is, is you can go in and customize all of this stuff inside the editor. So if you click on styles editor. You can go in and change the typography, the color, the background. You can change all this stuff. It's going to take a little bit of time, uh, but out of the box, really, it's just those two: the default look and feel, and um, you know, the midnight one. I think it was called, uh, which are you know the two most uh, usable. Again, in my opinion, uh, without having to do a lot of heavy heavy redesign. So um, again, big departure from where I think 2024 was headed, which was like that business kind of theme uh, that gave you a bunch of, of layouts. Uh, there is one more layout. Let's take a look at one that's, is, that's interesting to me. So we go add new. Uh, this podcast one is, is pretty cool. Podcast page. Let's just zoom out. Uh, we don't even have to preview anymore because now we can just zoom out and we can just see it from a bird's eye view. Explore the episodes. Uh, this is interesting, uh, you know, especially if you're a, a podcaster, you could come in and fill out these, uh, the links to the different uh, podcast directories, put in your podcast cover art here, name of your show. It, it's really just helping you get that f large 80% chunk done. And then you can come in and modify this stuff. Explore the episodes. I assume this is set up as, uh, I don't think it is. So this is actually just placeholder. Um, you would actually have to go in and manually uh, point to those posts. It, uh, or it's actually assuming that you put a video in, which is interesting. This is not a uh, query block. Uh, which would be uh, preferred. Like if you'd have a custom post type for podcasts and you would put in your query block, uh, you could put in uh, your query loop. Choose. <clears throat> yeah, it's not, there's none that are actually styled like that. So maybe not the best example here uh, for the podcast landing page. Uh, plus there's no content on the site but this would assume that you would click and assign each video here, which if you're making a landing page, maybe you're going to feature six um, that are your top and maybe you don't want to loop there. So anyway, there is some flexibility here. It's just not the traditional business uh, approach. In my opinion, design is subjective. Um, you know, your mileage may vary. So there's that 2025. If you want to try it out, go to playground.wordpress.net. It's a great way to spin up a free instance of WordPress right in your browser, start playing with it, start trying it out, see what you like, see what you don't like. I've had this question asked in the past, like if I'm on 2024, do I upgrade to 2025? The answer is no, because technically it's going to break a whole heck of a lot of stuff uh, on your site. You're not gonna be able to transfer patterns over styles you're gonna be missing. It's not something that you upgrade uh, like the new version of WordPress is like 6.6 .6 to 6.7, so on and so forth. The theme is a pretty big sort of pretty big deal, uh, to, to put it plainly. Uh, it's not going to be something that you just transfer over to with a click of a button and things are going to work out well. Maybe if you just have a blog and you don't have uh, custom homepages and stuff, might be an easier transition for you if you kind of like the style, uh, but I'm sure there'll be some things that you need to spot check uh, before you just hit publish and go live with an entire new theme, 2025. Let me know what you think in those comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. Thumbs up if you like the video. What else you got? Let me know in the comments. You on Blue Sky? I'm on Blue Sky. I don't know. I don't know why. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.